Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk a bit about crashes and losing your work. So the other day I was doing my live stream for my Elsa shot. And of course, when I was about to finish what I was planned to finish in the live stream, Maya decides to blow up. That was one to two hours of work gone. And that is so frustrating and so soul crushing. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced it too. Luckily, it was only one to two hours. It's better than five to six hours, which I've tried before, and that's a whole day. It's really soul crushing when it's your personal shot because you know, um, you're know you a bit more invested in it. Um, you're a bit more attached to it. And you know, five to six hours gone, that's tough. And it also hurts when you're in production because five to six hours is almost like a full day. And now you got production on your back. Everybody's pushing you. You feel like you need to catch up and or else you're gonna get fired yeah it, then everything goes crazy so that's why today i have two ways that you can implement immediately to stop the amount of work that you will lose you can never prevent maya from crashing but these two ways can help limit that so that you know you're losing 10 minutes of work instead of an hour or a few hours of work let's hop right into maya and i'll show you how to do that so i have my shot up right now uh, this is the same shot I did for my live stream. And the first method to limit the amount of work you lose is the autosave feature that Maya has. So if you go to settings, file projects, autosave, this is where you can tell Maya to save a backup file for you. And all you need to do is click enable and ta-da. Now you have a backup. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about um, the options, I guess. So the most important one that, you know, that everybody should focus on is the interval or the minutes. Right now I have it at 10. And what that means is that in every 10 minutes, it'll save a new file of your progress. So at 10 o'clock, it'll save one. 10.10 10 saves another one. 10.20, it saves another one. What that means is that if Maya ever crashes, you only lose at most 10 minutes of work. Some people set it at 10, some people set it at 20, five. It's up to you. But of course, like I like to leave it at 10. I think that's a 10, 15. I think that's a good range for me. You might be asking, why don't you set it every two minutes? Well, that's because every time it saves a file, that's, it takes up more of your hard drive space. What I usually do is I also turn on limit auto saves. And I have around, like you can choose the number of auto saves to keep, but 10 is, you know, I think 10 is the default and that works for me. So basically after you have 10 auto saves in your folder, it starts overwriting. So it's pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good way to manage your uh, file size or your folder size. So yeah. And if you really don't trust um, Maya, you can also tell them to prompt you before they, uh, before um, it auto saves. So you know, okay, it's definitely auto saving and it's, it'll ask you, Hey, do you want to save this file? So, um, that's useful too, but I personally don't like pop-ups every 10 minutes, so I'm good. And then finally, the autosave destination. Usually, everybody keeps on the project, but if there's a specific folder that you want it to go to, um, you can set your own. Now I'm gonna show you where the autosave is in case you really do need it. Um, and hopefully not, but in case you really do need it, at least you know where to look at. Um, this is where my, uh, my shot is stored. Usually it's in scenes. Right, so I got all these, all these Maya files, and those are my different iterations. But if you go out of scenes and go to Maya, there's an autosave folder, and this is where all the juicy stuff is, all the all the pain <laughs> is is here. So um, yeah, you can find it like um, that's the folder, this autosave folder. The second method. This is something that it's really useful. A lot of people in the industry use it. It's called Animbot, previously known as Atools. And this is um, a plugin for Maya that's developed by Alan Camillo, who was an animator at Sony. And he developed this tool set that, you know, animators can use and helps them with their workflow. And it's like, you know, I, honestly, I don't know Sometimes I, it makes me feel like I'm not sure whether I can animate without it anymore. Um, but here's a link if you want to um, check it out. Um, I don't personally, I haven't talked to Alan 
or know him personally but this is definitely a tool that i recommend people using and i'm sure other animators that you meet would tell you to use it too uh, because it's just it's so useful yeah the other method is to turn on this feature in animbot which is anim recovery essentially what this does is that it stores your animation curves and animation data attributes and backs it up after that it basically stores like checkpoints of these of your curves and your data and you can always revisit like these different checkpoints so it's sort of like autosave and um yeah that this has saved me a lot too uh, i don't know why i didn't have it turned on for my elsa shot if i was you i would use both the autosave feature from maya and animbot's auto uh, anim recovery i don't know why i didn't have either of them on sometimes it's just one of those things that you accidentally turn off i guess so yeah thanks for watching this video uh, if you found this useful please let us know um you can comment like subscribe or you can even join us on our um discord channel it's a small community that we're trying to grow and you know everybody's really positive and tries to help each other out with animation it's not easy because um animation is already hard itself and trying to figure it out on your own it's even harder um so yeah come join us on discord and um yeah subscribe see you guys next time bye thanks for watching or listening to our content if you like what you saw feel free to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks again peace